Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a one brand type of video and it's actually a PR package I got and I was so, so excited to get this. Like, I just can't even explain. It was a brand that I never thought I would get anything from. But obviously it's a brand that I've tried a couple of things from but not a lot of their probably best sellers, if that makes sense. But anyway, the brand that actually sent me this very, very excited packaging and I am so grateful. So, so this is the box. As you can see, it is Charlotte Tilbury. Her makeup is just iconic. Like, you see it all over Instagram. They even have TV adverts now, which I think is amazing. So, Charlotte Tilbury, if you are watching this, thank you so, so much for all these products. I haven't tried them yet, but I know they're going to be amazing. It also came with a bow as well, which was wrapped around the box, but obviously I don't need that now. And then this is everything that I got. And I can't wait to try some of these out. There's a couple which I've been really wanting to try out for so long. So I'm very grateful to get this experience to try them. So in this video, I'm going to use a couple of the things that I already owned from Charlotte Tilbury, plus these. And I have pretty much enough for a full face. Anything that isn't Charlotte Tilbury, I will also tell you what that is as well. So to start with, I'm using one of the products I already owned, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is very, very expensive, but it lasts for ages. Like the tiniest bit is enough to cover your entire face. And it goes so well under any foundation or just wearing on its own. It also has SPF 15, I think. Yeah, 15. So that is good. Obviously you can wear higher every day normally, but to have it in it already, that's pretty good. And just look at this packaging. Just look how gorgeous it is. So anyway, I'm just going to put this on my face. It's just a white cream inside. And I'm actually using a little spatula to skate out because I hate putting my fingers into moisturiser. And then knowing you're going to be using it again, because then surely you're just putting dirt in it. Or bacteria, so. I don't know, that's just what I do. And them little swatches were just off eBay, so they're not like super expensive or anything. I think you've got like 20 in the packet for like maybe two, three pounds, something like that. So, yeah, not a lot. Sorry if my face goes really red as well after I rub this in. Whenever I use moisturiser, it just goes red. So, so I've just given that a couple of minutes just to soak into my skin. And next, I'm using the Wonder Glow it's Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash Primer. Isn't this box just gorgeous? And this is the stuff that is inside. It looks like it's a little bit bronzy. It's got a little bit of glitter in which also goes with the glow. Well, not glitter, more shimmer. That goes with why it's Wonder Glow. And it says, turn around, try, turn around, tired, dull skin in a beauty flash. Powered by a fluorescent core that converts UV light into skin, skin luminosity for an instant soft focus spotlight effect. Can be used under, over, or instead of foundation. I am going to use this under my foundation as I don't really like things like this mixed with it. I don't think it really suits my skin. But I think it is really, really good that you can add it under, over, or instead of. So if you're having like a no makeup day, you could add this on and it would still look quite natural. I'm hoping anyway. You can see there, it's sort of like this bronzy kind of colour. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. But no, I'm just going to put this really just on the centre of my face because I don't want too much. And my nose there. I'm just going to use my fingers just to rub this in. I'm sort of trying to blend it into the skin rather than it just sort of sitting there. I'm not really like rubbing, I'm sort of just spreading it. I think that's about right. I don't really know. I've never used this before. That's what I did such like a gorgeous like shimmer to my skin. And I think it definitely has filled in some pores as well. Like, they definitely don't look as obvious. Like, you can still see them, but not as obvious. I actually really like that. And it feels really nice on the skin as well. Like, it's still a little bit tacky. But it might dry down a bit better yet. But it just gives, like, a gorgeous, healthy glow. I think that is really nice. And I like how it feels. It doesn't feel heavy. You can feel it, but not heavy, if that makes any sense. I think I'm definitely going to be using that quite a bit. I can't wait to see how it actually looks now with the foundation over the top. 
Now, for foundation, I haven't got one from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm just going to use my number 7 Beautifully Matte one. And because it's matte, I'm actually going to see how well it works with this primer underneath, if you can still see any effect of it or not. So I'm just going to go off camera and do this and then I'll come back to you. So that is the foundation on. You can actually still see just very, very slight sort of shimmer through, like on cheekbones and things. Like the camera doesn't really pick, you can see it a bit here, but it doesn't really pick it up as much. Obviously I did use a really matte foundation, but I want to see how it would show up and it does. So I'm quite impressed with that. Next up is the Airbrush Flaws Finish Complexion Perfection Micro Powder. And this is the box it comes in. How gorgeous, once again. All the packaging from Charlotte Tilbury is just amazing. And I absolutely love it. Anyway, this is in the lightest shade, which is Fair. And then this is the powder inside. As you can see, it is very, very fair. So it's not quite translucent, but it looks pretty nice. And it also does have a decent sized mirror in it as well. So that is good if you are travelling or something like that. Or, you know, just to keep in your bag and... Just top up when you need to. And I actually did touch this just with my fingers with Danny. It felt incredibly soft. So I'm quite excited to try this on my face. And like I've said in videos before. I don't normally use powder. I don't really get on with it that well. But I'm going to try it. So that is the powder on. And it it actually sits really really nicely like it's not caking it up anywhere which i find a lot of powders do which is why i don't tend to use them it just looks very very natural i actually really like it i think something like this would be really good for maybe wedding day makeup as it still is natural but it does give a bit of coverage obviously and obviously it's mattifying so yeah i actually really like that and it feels so nice like I can't even explain it, it just feels so soft. Yeah, even on my actual face, it just feels soft and like skin, even though there's like two layers of different things on now. I haven't got any brow products, so I'm going to go off camera and do my brows just like normal, and I use the Eyelet Brow Pomade. So I've just zoomed you in, and next we're doing the Feline Flick Quick Line Show Do Pen, which is this here. It is a felt tip eyeliner. If you focus, I'll show you. There you can see, it's a very, very fine tip. And it has this bit here, so it's quite easy to hold. Now, obviously, this is in black as well, so that makes it quite easy to use. Well, no, I didn't mean easy to use. I meant the colour that most people use. But I'm going to try and do this on camera. I'm not very good at eyeliner. So you just going to have to sort of bear with me. I will probably go off camera and sort of touch it up and finish it. But we'll have a go. So that is the eyeliner on. I do apologise if it's not exactly equal. Like I said, I'm not very good at it. But the eyeliner itself was really easy to use. Because it's so fine at the end, you can actually get that wing shape. And it makes it very easy to go in right along your lash line. And that includes a right to the inner corner as well. So that's really, really good. And obviously it is black. Like, there's no greyish to it. It's black. So that is really good. It means you don't need to keep going over and over it. Eyelashes and this is the mascara. It is the full five Full fat lashes and just look how unique this box is like this shape That is so cute. I actually love it and it says it curls lashes and And it actually has on the back how you should use it like where to put on your eyelashes first Basically it is just the same as normal mascara and it is in glossy black so this is the tube, it's once again got the gold on it, both sides, and yeah, so I thought I would give this a go. I've already curled my lashes like I normal, normally do, so that is no different. And I would like to point out as well, I have quite short lashes, they don't really hold a curl, so if this works, I would be very, very impressed. It's just with one coat and it actually has made them look quite longer i like it actually and it's quite easy to use because it gets every single lash i don't know if you can really see the difference on camera because i did the island so wide which was stupid but anyway so 
guys the lashes just with one coat it as it has added length maybe not too much volume i am just gonna wait for this to dry and then go in with the second coat to see if that makes any difference but it's definitely definitely added length you can see it a lot more on this side for some reason lashes with two coats i actually think it looks a lot better with two it's added more volume and has added even more length which is really really good and it just looks quite natural but all of charlotte selby's products are made to enhance your natural beauty i think that works really really well and i think i've just found my new favorite it is expensive yes it does what it says and i'm just hoping it holds the curl as well We'll see what they're like at the end of the video if I've noticed any difference in them. And now we're back to a product that I use quite a lot and you will have seen it if you watch any of my other videos. And that is this which is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette and this is in fair to medium so it's the lightest one that they do. I mean just look at this. Like this is probably one of the most iconic products from Charlotte Tilbury. Everyone knows this packaging. So this is the inside, obviously it has a contour shade and a highlight shade and also it does have a very decent sized mirror as well which is really really good. I love that so many of her products have such a good sized mirror in, like you get some products and they have just like these crappy little lids that just don't really show anything or they don't even have a mirror at all. But anyway I'm going to go in with the contour shade and I love how this works if you are pale, like it gives like such a natural nice colour it blends so easily and it doesn't look dirty or anything like some contour shades especially for pale skin they can look a bit dirty but this just works so well and once again it is very very natural looking now I'm going on to the highlight shade and this is sort of like a champagne-y kind of colour but it's not overly shimmery it's really hard to explain it when you can't see it in person. Like there is shimmer in it but it's not overly overly. But anyway, I really like this and I think it's really good for every day. And there you go, you see it just adds sort of like a natural type of shimmer. It is quite gold based when it's on your skin. It looks more sort of champagne-y gold when it's in the packaging. And now we are on to blush. I'm not normally a blusher girl. But when I saw this in the packaging I was so excited to try this. And this is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Glow Bl Blusher. And it says you use the swish, which is the outer shade across the cheekbones, and pop to glow onto cheeks, cheekbones and temples. So really, you can use this all over your face if that is what you like. And this is the packaging inside. It's a gorgeous maroon, like normal. I love the fact that they've done this with a different colour rather than the same gold as the other one, so you can tell which one it is. And this is the shade inside, it's like a corally kind of colour and then quite a bright pink in the middle and it also does have a mirror again which is amazing. Like looking at the packaging of this, I think this would be really good for wedding makeup as well. It just looks so amazing, like in your pictures getting ready it would look incredible and it would just really go with that whole thing. But I'm actually going to sort of try and just get the outside shade on the brush because the in inner one looks a little bright for me. That is so nice actually. Like I said, not a blushy girl. I mean, I don't think it's really picking it up that much on camera. Sort of that a little bit of pinkness back in after using all the rest of the makeup and it's all matted down. I think that is a gorgeous shade. I am just going to go in with a little bit of this middle one. That sort of scares me. And this point here. Actually really nice. Like, maybe it's not so scary, that middle pink. It just adds a natural, sort of flush pink to your shade. This is in the shade Ecstasy as well. And I think they do a few different shades in this. I'm not sure, but I actually really like that one. And it doesn't come off with a load of excess powder either when you're using it with your brush, so that is really good. And it blends so well into the rest of the makeup, like all of their powders do, which is amazing. And now last but in no means least and probably the one that I was the most excited to try and that is lips. I've tried one of Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks before. I think it's called Glastonbury. Um, it's sort of like a really dark berry kind of colour. One of her most known lip shades is Pillow Talk 
and I am so excited to have both the lip liner and the lipstick and I know this is like such a favourite of all of her lipsticks it always sells out and I've never actually tried it I've never really even seen the shade in person so I am very very excited to try this so I have the lip cheek reshape and resize lip liner which is here and this is obviously it's in pillow talk so it's a complete set and that is it there it's like one of these creamy type pencils so I really like those I prefer them better than like the pencil normal ones that you have to sharpen so that actually goes on quite creamy it feels nice that like you could fill in your whole lips with that and you wouldn't need to put lipstick over the top it feels really good now onto the matte revolution luminous modern matte long lasting lipstick and it says this is a cashmere cream texture with a soft matte finish enriched with papaya and orchid so that sounds really nice and quite moisturizing even though it is a matte so this is the shade pillow talk just look at this gorgeous packaging this rose gold it feels quite heavy as well but not overly but anyway this is Pillow Talk here. It's like a brownish nude kind of colour. See that? It's like a brownie nude kind of colour. I can't wait to try this on my lips. It looks so nice. And I love the shape of the tip as well. It's a bit more square than normally. Normally goes to like that point. Ooh. Oh, it smells like vanilla. That is gorgeous. is absolutely gorgeous it's just like it looks a little more more pinky now it's on it's not like a pinky brownie nude kind of color but how gorgeous is that i think i will literally just found my new favorite lipstick expensive i will admit but <laughs> to get that wow i actually love how all this makeup looks now it's all on together especially this lip like that is gorgeous i definitely my new favorite now but it all looks very natural while still having that sort of inner glow look even though i have used a matte foundation i think that is due to the primer that is underneath and then that highlight here you can just see it like i said that is gorgeous anyway oh my god like charlotte tilbury it is expensive i will give you that and i'm not going to say anything other it's like a special occasion like i've said a wedding day or i don't know just some special occasion you might be having it would definitely worth buying these as they look incredible never mind like how the product applies it applies very very well everything blends in so well and yeah i just I actually love how my face looks right now and i know that's not something i normally say i really like it but i think after trying this i'm going to have to try more of her things like i know she does a foundation so i'd be really intrigued to try that and see if it does actually work for pale skin. I know I've seen a few people use it and it looks really nice. But I'd like to try it myself. So I might have to buy that. Also I know her eyeshadow palettes are supposed to be amazing. I saw a video recently, I can't remember who it was. But she used one and it literally looked like foil on her eyes. It was one of the quads with the four, I can't remember which one. But I think I may have to treat myself to that as well. So my bank account is not going to look too happy after I bought foundation and eyeshadow palette. But... Oh well. But once again, thank you so, so much Charlotte Tilbury for sending me all of this. I am so incredibly grateful and I absolutely love how it looks. And yeah, I just, I, I can't say thank you enough for that. But you have to let me know what you think of Charlotte Tilbury's products. Which of these do you think looks best on me? Um, also, what are your favourite shades of different things? As, like I said, I already, I already want to try more, so... If anyone has a suggestion of what I should try, then please leave it in the comments below. And like always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with another. Bye!